Well guys, welcome back to Juice. Straight into it here with a prototype race straight up using the Punto. Still, you know, trying to do a few class eight races here and hopefully we can, you know, win this race with the Punto because it's done as well. Like, I, I enjoyed using the Punto. It's never, I've played through this game a few times and it's the first time I've used the Punto and I've enjoyed it. I mean, the Golf is 10 times better, like so much better, but you know, enjoyed the Punto. We won a few races with it, made some money and hopefully we can win this race here. We got Sue here, I believe that is a forward focus. And she she's giving us a bit of grief here, but we put we put some pressure on her here and we've, we've overtaken with the Punto. And she's she's come back at us and given us a nudge. Look at that, she it just knocks me out of the way and her car has it's like a brick wall. I, was, um, I said it a few episodes ago that it's ridiculous like how light your car is compared to theirs. And yeah, that was a good lap. That was a good good back and forth race in there between between Sue. And myself but it looks like we're in front here and hopefully we, we can keep the lead but she's really she's really right behind us here put putting the pressure on and this this corner here from memory is really 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 hard as you can see I went really slow but I it looks like I, I held him up behind me there and we've got we have two cars like right at my tail now it looks like TK in the yellow yeah they're right behind me I look back it's getting a bit nervous but the Punto staying strong staying strong it's still going Still going pretty good. It's holding its own in the, on the straights as well. Usually, like it hasn't been very quick, and it held its own the whole race. That's it. We've skipped and we've we've pushed through to the end, and we've won prototype mods for the Punto, getting a nice bit of respect for everyone there. Still don't have much respect for Sue and Maria. They're sort of the you'll see towards the end they're the last people I sort of level up because they're they're not the hardest is because it's for Sue, the the purple girl, you need to do show offs and you know when you're playing this that start of the game, the show offs aren't really like inter an interest to me because I want to try and make money at the start and show offs don't make you any money. Pro doing prototype races make you money here with the with the Subaru. And I'm looking to get the Subaru up to a higher a higher class. So winning a prototype mod in its lower class, class seven. Will be, will be pretty good, but problem is when there's like because the Subaru's got doesn't have many mods on it at the moment, just so I can keep it in class seven. And sometimes it's not as good as some of the other cars, and really, <laughs> really getting bashed around here. The, the poor, the poor Subi. But hopefully, hopefully we can keep going here and make make the comeback. And it's definitely it's definitely quicker on the straights, and like when. From my memory, once it gets up to those higher classes, it's definitely definitely not one of the quickest. Like it gets outsped, but I guess when it's in the lower classes, it's definitely a lot quicker. And the AI likes to take that corner nice, nice and slow. And hopefully, we can stay in second here and try and catch Sue, not with driving like that, but hopefully. But with that, we just use NOS and it makes it okay. This is a really really dodgy race. Like the Subaru. I'm really struggling with it, <laughs> but all I use this a fair bit throughout the playthrough, and I, I can assure you my driving will get better than that. That that's pretty that's pretty bad. But we're you know we're, we're sticking behind Sue here. We're, we're catching her here, and this thing is quick on the straights in in this lower class. So hopefully we can. We've also she's she's under pressure here as well. Hopefully we can we can get her under here, and we have, but we've really scraped the wall. And one thing I did notice in this game is. If you touch the wall, your car will just like just like stick to it, especially like going around the corner like that. It's really like, I mean, it's good because I know like there's a lot of racing games where it's actually quicker to go around the corner like the wrong way just by going to the outside and just hugging and like drift and hugging the wall around. It's actually quicker than doing the corner properly. But on this game, you can't do that. And you know we're starting to get a lot of damage because we've got a nitrous leak. There's like stages of damage for on, on juice the first one if once you do a fair bit of damage and as you can see I've really been bouncing around here in the in the Subi here is nitrous leak then the steering goes which is really annoying like super annoying it's basically undrivable after that and Jesus M yeah, more damage caused and then after that I believe your car goes slower but it's once you you steer and gets damaged it's game over because it's too hard to control especially you'll see later on I do get some steering steering damage and it really it really ruins me and we're on the last lap here hoping to win 
this prototype mod with the with, with the Subi, but <laughs> it's not going to happen like that. We just get absolutely T-boned there, which isn't ideal. But I do believe we made a bet with Biggie from memory when I was looking back at this, cutting this together, or maybe not. Okay, we just lost a lot of respect and all of our money, which isn't ideal. So we got another prototype mod. And we're trying to bet with Sue because we're annoyed that she wrecked us last time. Now we're going to use a card that's a little bit more suited to Class 7. We're going to use the, the Brian O'Connor Eclipse. And we're coming up Biggie in an Impreza as well. So you'd think, judging by my performance last race, that I should be able to, you know, beat him. But <laughs> we're just going to get... Oh my god. We're just going to get absolutely punted. At least Sue's behind us. <laughs> so we can win the bet, but yeah. The, there was no recovering from that race. We, we skipped to to part four. At least we, we beat Sue, but we there was no chance of me catching up there. That's that's no, that's no good. Two races in a row there. We just got destroyed, like absolutely destroyed. At least we won that bet. And we've got a third race here for the same prototype mod. Surely we can win. As you can see, there's two Eclipses and two Subies. He's got the ST... Oh, no, he's got the same WRX as me. Both cars have high acceleration, so this will be a very interesting sprint. See what happens. And um, looks like we've won the first, the first one. Have we won it? Biggie's coming in hot, and we got the exact same time. And I got more points, even though I got the same time. I don't know who decides that. Maybe. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take I'll take first place. It's definitely better, definitely better than second place, obviously. And how are we going here? This, uh, this, this is tight. Have we won this one? It looks like we just got across the line. It looks like we've won. We've finally won prototype mod after the third time of asking in a class 7 car. Failed with the Subi the first time. Failed with the, with the Eclipse, the Brian O'Connor car. And we have done it. So we've finally won the prototype mod with the Subi. Taking some money off Biggie. Which is, it's really going to bump up the class. It's bumped a strap to class 6. And I'm, yeah, I can put it all the way to class 4. Which is awesome. But we'll leave it at class 6 for now. Just having a bit of a bit of a look. What I can do with this Subi. And we put up to class 6. Yeah, so we do, we do a few races at class 6. And now we're just going to, we're just going to max. Well, not max it out, but you know, just add, add some cool, some cool stuff to the Subi. We've got plenty of money now. You don't really need too much money in this game, to be honest. It's not really, it doesn't really matter. We're $100,000, pretty comfortable. We've upgraded our Subi. And you know, you know what this means. When we go to Biggies, it means we have to bet with Jack and take Jack down. And all four cars are Eclipses, but only one is the Paul Walker car. And mine is quicker off the mark. I've noticed whilst playing this game that the AI in the drag races or sprint races, they won't use their NOS straight away. They'll get to like second or third gear before they start using their NOS. But you, as the person controlling it, can use your NOS straight away from the get-go. That's all you need to get out in front. Even though they'll be using their NOS as well after, like they'll have their NOS after you to use, but when you're in front, they can't get around you because the AI is pretty weird. They'll either just stay behind you, even if you're like going really slow, or they'll just like, like just ping ping right around you and rubber band around you but in this case Brian O'Connor's too quick and we have won the sprint race and we have deprived Jack of all his money that's like four like last episode we we took him we took all his money we just won fifty thousand dollars and just for upgrading the Subi we have 300 respect for Jack he really really likes us <laughs> just for getting the prototype mod with the Subi and we can do some hopefully we can do some pink sleeps with Jack take some money and there's some pink sleeps with Popper so that's two people we can do pink slips with now and Jack called us straight away and we're in a big circuit race and I was a bit concerned about that because he these trucks are hard against him dude we've been pussyfooting around each other for a while it's time to see what you're really made of you ready to race for pinks Dude. Except the the tracks are hard, but the Supra on this game is it's pretty trash. 
Um, you will see some footage of it later because I, spoiler, I win this because the super is pretty bad and the subi is pretty damn good. But as you can see, I'm already like just, just miles away. This this the super it just, the tail would just switches it just switches around and so it's uncontrollable. You you will see gameplay of it, but yeah, for racing wise, the subi destroys the super, and you know six laps we've already. We're already onto the last lap because, as you can see on the map, he's nowhere to be seen, nowhere behind me. I wish you got more respect in the pink suit races the further you are in front. Subi's way too good for the Supra. My car! I can't believe you actually won my car! This is so bad. Oh man. Just take it and wipe that stupid grin off your face. This isn't over, dude. Not by a long shot. Come on, get behind the wheel and let's see well, what let's, you're made of. Let's just race at his crib, which is good. And as much as I praise the Corrado in the previous episode, we have sold it because we're at a big boy race now. Hey, Gearhead. Welcome to the jungle. Brought to you today courtesy of Melody and the Public Chaos. <laughs> Whoa, that is some racer. Makes mine look like a dumpster. Let's go! So yeah, we sold the Corrado right there so we can place that massive bet right there with Melody. And yeah, the, the later guys really do have a lot of money, which you, you, honestly you don't really need. And like... Honestly, over hundred thousand dollars. That's all you really need in this game. At the end, sort of towards the end of the game, when you're buying extra cars, I guess it's handy. But money isn't the biggest deal. It's only more to have money at the start, so you can progress through the game. But towards the end, especially because you can do some like such high bets, it's ridiculous. And as you can see on the map, she's the red one. She is way behind. So I've definitely won the bet. I'm definitely, you know, hundred thousand dollars straight in the pocket, which is pretty ridiculous. And hopefully we can win this race. We're, we're out in front. I'm telling you, man, the golf is too good. It's it's like your it's like your Charizard just sweeping through the entire game. It's ridiculous. We're, we're getting some pressure behind us here from his name is Popper. The the it's actually his this is his turf. It's his event. The the gambling guy. And you actually you get you get more respect gambling with the higher rated drivers like like Carlos, the pink slip guy, if you if you place a bet against him, you get the most respect because he's supposed to be the best driver in the game. Which, I mean, he has a higher skill. He's definitely the best. You sure got your swerve on, honey. Respect. <coughs> As Melody said, ahem, <coughs> is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you on the next episode.